In 2014, a crack toy fixer was banished from the forums for talking about repairing vintage toys. Undeterred, this man promptly set up his own YouTube channel, located in the Somerset Underground. Today, still wanted by hardcore Star Wars collectors, he survives as a maverick toy restorer. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find him, maybe Toy Ploy can help you. Welcome to Toy Ploy. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Polloi. Now in today's video I'm not really sure how I'm going to describe this because essentially I'm taking a whole load of broken parts and I'm trying to make a figure from it. In front of me here you can see I have the remains of a figure from Raiders of the Lost Ark. I was recently given a whole bag of sort of the remains of figures and bits of figures by Ryan. He'd been using them for customising and basically gave me all of the pieces that were left over and I've sort of put a few of those together. In fact you'll have seen a video already of me taking some of the indie figures and making my own sort of custom map room version of India as you can see here and in the bottom of that bag was this which is sort of parts of the Belloc figure. Now Belloc is a figure I don't have. Finding these figures in the UK is actually pretty hard to do. They don't turn up that often and they're very expensive. So my plan is today is basically to take these bits of, of a sort of a broken figure and try and make a Belloc figure or at least the sort of the, the bare bones of one that I can then put with my display. This is not all the correct pieces. That's the problem here. You can see I've got the, the sort of the body although this has been uh, quite badly damaged I guess in taking it apart. So there's holes in it and bits missing and it's got a lot of sort of damage to it. Um, it has the right leg, so that is Belloc's legs. And the arms here, I think, are from the map room version of Indy. They do match, uh, but they are not correct because actually Belloc should have his sleeves rolled up. So it's going to be a bit of a mishmash figure, but it will be the best option I have to get this figure in my collection for a sort of a, a cheap price, essentially nothing. So um, this is a really it's just going to be one of those projects. I'm probably not going to talk a lot while I'm doing this. I'm just going to sort of get on and uh, see what I can put together. There's going to be a lot of repairing needs to be doing. So I'm going to bits of milliput and stuff to sculpt and then shape and then try and match the paint. I'm not going to de-yellow it because I sort of quite like the sort of the age of this figure, but it does need quite a lot of repairs. Uh, you actually you can see on this arm, this is the uh, right arm. Uh, the little post that should go inside the body has been snapped off. So I'm going to be using some Lego to uh, fix that up. I reckon if I sort of stick that in there, this uh, should make a fairly good shoulder joint. So it's really just going to be uh, you watching me try and repair this figure and make something out of it. I reckon with a lot of work I should be able to get something that uh, looks pretty reasonable. But um, yeah, we'll just sort of see how it goes. So uh, let's get constructing.
So here we go. This is the uh, finished version of Belloc that I've made. As you can see, he's not looking too bad at all. These sleeves don't match, which is what I mentioned earlier. These should be sort of rolled up versions of his sleeves. So I think this is the map room version of Indy's arms. But otherwise, he's not looking too bad at all. I managed to get the ink off the back of his leg there. I've rebuilt this sort of the damage that was on the top of his shoulders. I've got the paint to match as close as I can to the plastic. It's very hard to get paint to actually match the, sort of the finish of the plastic. So I've got the colours right. And I think for most people, you wouldn't even notice that. So I'm very happy with uh, how he's turned out. He's by no means a perfect figure. He's a very wabby sabby figure, but he's going to fit in very nicely with the rest of my Raiders of the Lost Ark collection that you can see here, because none of these are perfect figures. Some of them uh, you'll have seen recently, actually, on my channel that I've sort of made out of other bits. So this map room version of Indy is not an original version of Indy, but he looks pretty good. I've got this version here without the hat on, which is done using a hand solo head. And then all of the others are sort of uh, real sort of beaters. Certainly there's a, my other version of Belloc here. Again, it looks terrible. He's missing his robe still and he's got a bit of ink on him. I still need to do some work on that one. So at some point I'll come back to that. And actually, if you look at my uh, Salo at the back here, he's missing an arm because I have yet to find one with an arm. So I've got to make robes and that and at some point find an arm for him. But this is my collection of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark figures. They're not perfect. It doesn't matter because they do look really nice when you display them all together. So as I said at the start of this video, I wasn't really sure what the point of this video was, but really the point of it is that you can make do with whatever you've got. You can make nice figures out of bits and really by the time you finish, as long as you've had fun playing around and messing around with them, the end result will do exactly what you want it to do. And for me, I wanted a figure that fitted in with the rest of my collection and that's what I've got here. So I'm very happy with uh, how it's all turned out. At some point, I hope to finish this collection, but as I say, finding these in the UK is very hard to do. They don't turn up very often and when they do, they're really quite expensive. So even to get this sort of collection that I've got here has taken me a rather long time, but that's the fun of collecting and I'm still enjoying collecting them. So I hope this video has been of interest to you. If it has, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.